Hi folks, Tony Lockwood here in Cleveland, Ohio at Case 18. Uh, we, we uh, by the way, co-sponsor this with Nathan. And I always have to introduce them as well. Got a, a speaker here with you. And I want you to introduce yourself and tell us uh, who you are, who you work for, what do you do? Good morning. Good morning, Tony. Uh, my name is Sam, Sam Saltiel. I am the Chief Communications Officer of Beta CAE Systems. Uh, Beta CAE Systems is a um, company uh, with uh, worldwide uh, activity, being active in the simulation area for almost 30 years now. Very good. Yeah, now you provide a lot of engineering services. You have uh, ANSA. I have uh, ANSA, Meta, uh, the post processor, and Pilises, a software um, for solving uh, quite a uh, large number of uh, problems. And also have uh, simulation process data management solutions and many more. Many more, yeah. And you were really, a, a, you're in the thick of it uh, in a lot of ways, thick of what's going on here at CASE. Uh, so I guess let's begin with the your customers, your users, uh, what, what are the challenges they're seeing and uh, uh, or complaining to you about or begging you to help them oh, with? Oh, right. uh, you know, tra traditionally we started in the business um, 20, more than 25 years ago in the automotive uh, industry and still um, about 80% uh, of uh, our business is in the land mobility transportation um, uh, sector. Um, so this uh, sector trusts us to solve uh, the problems of today and the problems of tomorrow that they are uh, facing. Uh, at this moment, um, this, the industry still faces uh, challenges in um, improving, uh, if not optimizing, their overall simulation processes, uh, including their data management. Uh, so structuring uh, a more uh, effective, a more efficient, overall simulation uh, process uh, in the industry is uh, still a challenge. Uh, they, they, using the software too, is that a, still a challenge or are they, are they asking you for... A They're asking for uh, additional software uh, solutions that, uh, which uh, would allow them to streamline uh, the, pro the simulation process uh, across uh, many disciplines. Uh, and allow them to collaborate at the same time across disciplines mm -hmm. and uh, across different uh, sites around the world because now the companies um, have a global presence and uh, having uh, working concurrently in many different sites mm -hmm. uh, while at the same time the quality of the work is being assured uh, it is still a challenge to them. Yeah, there's a great deal of complexity to that. Yes. Uh, now you see the movement for uh, simulation to come down in a way uh, to like the designer so you get more out of the analyst the uh, democratization yeah democratization it, it, yeah. it is uh, a buzzword uh, depends on, on a sector sometimes this is uh, in some sectors this is possible mm -hmm. um, involving uh, more uh, non-expert people uh, in the simulation process uh, in some uh, areas there are silos that uh, separate uh, the experts in design, the experts in simulation, and the introduction of uh, non-experts uh, into the process is more difficult. Mm -hmm. uh, but still what we try to do is um, to offer uh, tools and uh, automation uh, into, its, into the use of the software that will allow them, even non-experts, to uh, approach uh, the simulation uh, processes. And with the uh, data management, simulation data management side of uh, all of this, uh, notorious for being a problem, but yeah. enormous amounts of data uh, are created with just the simplest process. Um, uh, how do you work with people uh, on that? It has uh, high performance computing gotten in? To uh, your mix, has that helped? Or, uh, uh, really, or? high performance computing is not the first, uh, let's say, piece uh, no. of the puzzle mm -hmm. in order to solve. Um, what it is required there is a very uh, intuitive 
a good uh, user interface uh, that uh, allows the engineer to set up the simulation model, uh, not only one simulation model, but multiple simulation models at the same time, even for different variants uh, and mm -hmm. for different disciplines. Um, as you understand, um, since we are uh, quite uh, experienced in the um, automotive industry, uh, it is a sector that uh, requires a huge number of uh, simulations to be um, run on uh, multiple variants, on uh, multiple models and multiple uh, disciplines. Uh, the matrix is very big and um, since we have very close partnership with this uh, industry, uh, we managed to very effectively build these uh, interfaces um, that um, allow the users to um, complete such a challenging yeah. task. And that talks to them in their, yeah. their language, so yeah. to speak. So, yeah. Yeah. so versioning and uh, um, mastering the history of the data is one challenge, but building uh, and setting up the simulation model uh, is the real concurrent uh, current problem for, mm -hmm. for the users, and this is what we effectively uh, solved. Yeah, very good. And it, it, that much gets you into a lot of uh, uh, training and uh, education of uh, your, your customers. Yes, yes. Uh, it is uh, especially simulation data management. It is an area that requires uh, a lot of, uh, let's say, assistance in the beginning for the for the deployment. Uh, in order to have um, the environment uh, set up and deployed in a manner uh, that suits uh, to the customer. Um, and beyond that, um, yeah, of course, training and education uh, in general, uh, it's a task that we're involved in. Yeah. Uh, also, we try to educate uh, simulation uh, young engineers uh, before they get their degree, even in the university mm -hmm. uh, level. Uh, we assist uh, the academia uh, in order to give to young engineers uh, the elementary uh, knowledge of uh, simulation. Not necessarily our own software only, uh, but the uh, simulation uh, techniques, technology in general. Right. Very good. Now, where do, you, where do you see this all going in the next, we'll just say next two years, three years? We'll skip the hundred-year view. Uh, yeah, you know. yeah. I think that uh, we will see. Yeah, there are a lot of uh, buzzwords and a lot of discussing right. about uh, new areas like artificial intelligence or uh, Internet of Things and such uh, kind of things. Uh, but um, what we listen at this very moment uh, are very generic uh, concepts and uh, really not uh, specific solutions that resonate to the problems of, uh, of the users. Mm -hmm. um, so I will uh, see that uh, the real uh, solutions, uh, breakthrough solutions, not necessarily disruptive, uh, will start emerging in the following um, two years, uh, especially uh, with uh, employment of artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. This will be the first uh, breakthrough. Uh, at this moment, uh, we are, um, let's say, experiencing uh, the fruits of the new ideas of uh, the last uh, three to five years, uh, especially in the simulation data management uh, area, mm -hmm. uh, and also in the visualization uh, area. The, the GPU uh, breakthrough of uh, the last uh, uh, five uh, years, it is uh, now that we are uh, enjoying, uh, especially after the reduction of the cost of the hardware. Right. And uh, this is the current uh, trend. All right, Sam, I want to thank you very much thank for you very much. stopping by and chatting with us. And uh, let's see, it's your website is? www.beta-ca.com. Okay, and uh, I will have those. You just contact me at the, the, care of the desktop, the digital engineering editors, and uh, I'll get you all that information. Sam, thank you thank so much. Thank you very much.